Hey Divine Ones, it's Jerome Braggs of JeromeBraggs.com and I wanted to come and share an experience I had after my near-death experience that taught me why focusing on healing our bodies is actually not the key to truly healing them, it's actually focusing on healing our lives. So this experience happened uh, around 10 years ago, uh, and it was probably around about seven years after my second near-death experience. And I was feeling um, a lot of gut issues. I was having a lot of gut issues. Um, I was having pain in my gut. I was experiencing um, using the bathroom very frequently and um, almost uncontrollably sometimes. And <clears throat> I wasn't, um, I wasn't comfortable. I just was not comfortable in my body. I wasn't comfortable with my uh, gut. And it started to feel like I, um, I had a parasite in my stomach. And I had a parasite in my stomach when I had both of my near-death experiences, the first one uh, and then the second one. Both times um, I had a parasite in my stomach. And it kind of felt like the same thing. So initially I thought it was a parasite, so I was taking detoxes i was doing parasite cleanses and all those type of things and i was but it really wasn't helping my stomach for some reason the the symptoms weren't getting better um i was still having pain i was still having um you know diarrhea at times i was still going to the bathroom uncontrollably and so it got to a point where i had tried everything and i had tried it for very long periods of time for months and months and months and months um, and it wasn't getting any better and so i just finally said let me go see a doctor uh, and it, it, even still in my head i'm thinking this is a parasite and maybe they'll have some type of medication that can um, work with what i'm doing to clear me of, of this parasite and so I went to the doctor and they scheduled uh, a colonoscopy for me because he was like, well, we actually need to go in and make sure, you know, if it's a parasite or if it has damaged anything in your intestinal line. Uh, we just want to make sure that, you know, what's going on so that we can create the best type of um, treatment plan. And so I had a colonoscopy and um, again, at this time I was in my 30s, uh, kind of mid 30s at this time. And so I had a colonoscopy and went in for the colonoscopy. And once I came out of the colonoscopy, um, the doctor was sitting there and he was like, okay, you know, we have the results. We looked at colon, we looked in, into your body and we have all the screenshots and everything. This is what we found. And again, I'm thinking they're going to tell me, you know, you have parasites. And so, you know, here's the protocol for clearing yourself of those. But what the doctor said instead was, um, we saw a lot of ulcers in your intestines and you have ulcerative colitis. And, um, you know, that's an uh, incurable situation. And if you're, uh, we're just gonna give you some medicine to help you treat it. And if you don't uh, use this medicine, it's probably gonna develop, uh, we're trying to make sure it doesn't develop into Crohn's disease. And as he was saying this, um, I noticed some things. One, they didn't ask me anything about um, my life, like what was going on in my life, what what was I eating, what type of stress was I under. Um, it was just like, here's, here's what we saw, here's the medicine. But immediately while the doctor was telling me this, um, I had this download from my soul. And like immediately as they started talking and I, re I recognized the... Um, that it was not a parasite in my stomach and I heard ulcerative colitis and I, there was a part of me that was like, oh God, not again, like here's another disease that I have to deal with. Um, immediately when I felt that and I heard that I had this download coming in from my soul and it said, um, this is from stress. You are too stressed. You've been living too stressed. You've been feeling overwhelmed, you've been exhausted, you've been putting too much on yourself, you've been trying too hard, um, and this is stress. And I heard that, and, I, and so as the doctor was telling me about the medication, I had this awareness that I knew that I needed to deal with stress. But first, my first thing was I was gonna go along with what the doctor prescribed. So I was taking the medicine, uh, and I took it religiously, every day as prescribed for weeks and my symptoms never eased up 
like I didn't feel any ease from the medication whatsoever. And I went, I did this for about three months. I tried for about three months and was talking back and forth with my doctor and he changed the dosage of it and all of that. And it just never got any easier. It didn't even, it didn't even alleviate the symptoms one bit. And I knew that I needed to do something else. So then I tried, you know, eating differently. I tried different diets. I tried, you know, getting in different herbal supplements and, um, you know, changing to a more vegan diet, an alkaline diet. And my symptoms alleviated a very small amount, but they didn't alleviate to a point where I felt any type of ease and I wasn't feeling pain and I wasn't feeling discomfort. It was probably the same thing, except maybe I wasn't, instead of using the bathroom six times a day, I was using a bathroom four times a day, right? And so it just wasn't getting any better. <clears throat> and I kept trying, you know, to heal my body, to try and to try and heal the symptoms with food and, uh, medication and alternative therapies. I did, I did all these uh, different type of alternative, alternative therapies as well and with medical modalities and it wasn't working. And so I just heard my soul again say, you've got to change your life. Like stop trying to change your body and really focus on positively changing your life. And so it was just probably about a year after I had the colonoscopy, I made a decision that I was going to really focus on um, changing my life and stop focusing so hard on trying to change my diet or, you know, tr try to undergo these alternative treatments or anything like that. I was going to change my life from being one of stress to one of being relaxed and ease. And I began to um, change how I was working because I just kind of really started my business around that time. And so I tried to, I cleared my schedule. I made sure that I had, um, I only worked three days a week and uh, the rest of the days of the week I relaxed. I began to uh, set a timer for myself like I will not do any work after this 5 p.m. And if you're an entrepreneur, you know, one of the things that happens, you know, when you have a nine to five, usually at five o'clock, you clock out and work's done. Like you're not going home to more work. You're going home to your family or you're going home to relax or you're going home to enjoy time with your friends. But when you have a business, a lot of times you there, there's no off clock, right? You don't get to clock out. It's usually, you can work literally up until the time that you go to sleep. You're thinking about things, marketing strategies, new products and services to put out, um, new ways to make more money, all this stuff. And you think about it and you're in your work almost all the time. And I realized that was kind of stressing me out. So I made, you know, a hard timeline for myself. Like after five o'clock, you do not think about work. You don't engage in work. You don't check emails or anything like that. And I began to go through all of my life and looking at like, where was I feeling overwhelmed? Where was I taking too much on? Where was I overexerting myself? And I changed that and looking at where was I feeling a sense of rushing, right? Where was I rushing? Where was I going too fast? Where was I pressing myself? And I began to step back from that. I began to look at how can I live, um, really looking at the pace of my life, right? And I wanted to live at a pace where I could feel myself living. I wanted to live at a pace where I, where it was leisurely for me, where I was moving at a pace where I could see the beauty of my life, where I could feel good in my body, where I could feel a sense of ease and relaxation and peace instead of a sense of urgency and a sense of um, exhaustion and a sense of overwhelm. And I began to really look at my life and I went through all of my life, like how I was showing up in my work, how I was showing up in my relationships, how I was showing up in my home and looking at where can I bring in more relaxation where can I bring in more leisure? Where can I bring in more ease in my life? And this change took, you know, went on for about three years for me where I went really deep in looking at also the beliefs that made me believe that I had to take so much on. What were the beliefs that I had that made me think that you know, I needed to be stressing my body out to achieve these things? I, I really changed the beliefs around where what I, 
realized was I was running off a core belief that I wasn't enough. That was one thing. And that made me um, try and prove myself, take too much on so that I could, you know, if I, if I achieved more in the eyes of others, then I would be enough. So I really had to change that belief that, that I am enough even if I don't um, achieve. Like my worthiness and my lovability and my uh, level of appreciation isn't contingent upon um, the accolades that I get or how much money is in my bank account or what I achieve. It is just contingent upon me being me, me being a soul. I am lovable as I am unconditionally, whether these situations change for me or not. That really allowed me to step back and to approach my life from a place of not overwhelm, but like doing, realizing that what I'm doing at any given moment is enough. I don't need to do more in order to be worthy. And also the other piece of that really changed me was to, to understand that life loves me. Life loves me as is. And so I didn't need to prove myself to life and I didn't need to prove myself worthy of receiving the things that I wanted, the success that I wanted or the accolades that I wanted. I didn't need to burn myself out in order to receive that because love, because life loved me already and it already wanted me to have what I wanted. And so I didn't need to prove myself. I was already worthy and that made me relax in how I uh, worked and it made me focused instead on, um, instead of doing all these things to look good, what was what I was doing? Did it feel good in my body? Did it make me feel at ease? Did it make me feel uh, at peace and relaxed and to approach things from this from this energy instead of an energy of have to need to? It was want to. And does this feel good to me? And does this feed me um, because I am worthy? So I don't need to do this. Do I want to? And so these, those beliefs began to shift my behaviors, right? So instead of rushing, I began to take my time at things. Instead of feeling like I had to take so much on, I looked at, you know, what, are, what can I do? What can I put on my plate and be, go in deep that will nourish me and feed me and uplift me? And if anything else is added to my plate that makes me feel like I'm not being uplifted or I'm not going to be at peace or I'm going to be stressed out, it was a no for me, right? So I began to say no more. I began to have boundaries with myself around how much I can take on, how much I can say yes to, how many projects I can involve myself in. And what shifted for me was my life began to feel like a life of peace and relaxation and ease. I began to really enjoy my work more and my work didn't feel like an obligation or a responsibility like it did when I was rushing and taking so much on. It began to feel like a passion. It began to feel like something that fueled me instead of something that drained me. And um, the, the behavior that I used to just, I used to have a PhD in, right? I used to operate by, which was rushing always rushing and moving and urgency, it dis it disappeared. Like I don't move by that anymore. I started to move from the sense of just um, taking a leisurely pace in my life so that I'm enjoying the things that I'm doing. I'm enjoying the relationships I have. I'm enjoying my present moments and I'm not always moving to the next thing because there's no sense of me having to get that in order to be loved or having to get there in order to feel worthy or having to get there in order to achieve. I began to achieve even more when I was setting in my own energy of ease and relaxation. Things started to work out for me. Even things that I didn't even have to work towards, things I was dreaming for just manifested for me. Um, and so I began to live in this more energy of, a, a, of the thing that I was really wanting and yearning for was to move at a pace where I could feel myself living, to move at a leisurely pace and to experience leisure in my life. And when I got there, when I had changed my life to a, from a life of stress and overwhelm and rushing to a life of leisure and a life of ease and a life of understanding that I am worthy and life loves me and I can operate and move in my work and in my daily life from this understanding, um, all of a sudden my, the symptoms I was experiencing in my gut, they disappeared. Like instead of the burning sensation, because uh, uh, ulcerative colitis has like a burning sensation in your body from like the ulcers, they were gone. And instead of using the bathroom, you know, six times a day, 
I used it one to two times a day. And I didn't have, you know, explosive experiences. I had very normal, very healthy experiences um, in with my digestive tract. And all of a sudden, my ulcerative colitis had healed itself. And again, this was supposedly an incurable situation, but it had been healed completely. My gut was, there were no ulcers, there was no infl inflammation in my gut. Um, my gut was back to a healthy operating system. And it wasn't because I had stopped all of the, you know, again, I wasn't doing the, I was no longer vegan or, al or primarily eating an alkaline diet. I was eating um, what felt good to me, which was a clean eating, right? I still eat, ate some type of fish and, and chicken, um, but primarily I was eating fruits and vegetables, uh, more plant-based, but I wasn't completely plant-based. Um, I wasn't involving myself a lot in the alternative uh, modalities and I had stopped taking that medicine because I really, it wasn't working for me. I had not, I had not noticed anything. It wasn't clearing the ulcers. It wasn't soothing the ulcers. It wasn't soothing the um, intensity of, or consistency of the, of the bathroom usage. Um, there was nothing that really changed for me, like as far as a new alternative modality or new medical uh uh, modality. The thing that changed was I had changed my life. I had changed my life from um, stress to one of peace and ease. And that had healed. And just like my soul had told me when I was coming out of the, the procedure, when I had had the, um, um, when I had had that medical procedure that where they told me that I had ulcerative colitis, when I came out of the procedure, my soul had told me this is about stress. Um, you need to address your stress. And when I addressed my stress, I'd healed myself. And as I teach a lot on um, this channel and in my message and my work, your body is only a reflection of your internal energy. The health state of your body is a direct reflection of the state of your internal energy. And I had at, at, at that time an internal energy of stress and overwhelm and exhaustion um, and rushing and pressing. Uh, and so I had a health state where I had to rush. I had to rush to the bathroom because I had to use it all the time. Um, I was highly stressed. My gut was never at ease. It never felt at peace. It always was inflamed and felt stressed. Um, but when I changed that situation and I was carrying an inter internal energy of peace and ease and relaxation, my gut was at peace. My gut relaxed. Uh, my gut had a, had an experience of leisure and health. And so this experience really taught me that we must address our life. Like what, what, our, what is it in our lives that is out of alignment with the energy of our soul, which is love energy. And uh, where I was out of alignment with love was I was not at peace. I was not at ease. And ease and peace are facets of love energy. So when we look at healing ourselves, a lot of times we come at it from this space of let me try and heal the symptoms. Let me try and heal the, the illness in my body. Let me try and heal my body. But the real healing comes from let me heal my life and let me heal my internal energy. And when you do that, your body must follow because your body is only a reflection of your internal energy. It is only a reflection of how you're living your life. So try that. Uh, if you're experiencing any type of illness or disease out there, look at um, your life. Where are you not at ease? Where are you not relaxed? Where are you not feeling worthy and enough? Where are you not feeling free? Where in your life are you not feeling in a, that you're in alignment with the love energy that you are? Address that. Make your focus on addressing that instead of trying to focus on your body because your body will get in alignment once your life does. As always, thank you for listening. I hope this has helped you. If you know somebody else that this may help as well, please share this with them. Until next time, I love you. Now go love yourself. Bye.